Well, we're at the range today, and Mark has this great Hornady concentricity gauge that he got secondhand for $90, but it's in perfect condition. So what a great find that he got there. I'll let Mark tell you all about what he's doing with it. I'm about to put the cartridge in. Now we can look at the runoff as I turn this. So wow. You can see, it's not, uh, it's not even moving that, a thousand. That is less than one thousand's run out. All right, let's try another one. What that means is the, the, the round is very concentric to his axis, which is the best for accuracy. Look at that. Zero run out. That's spectacular, Mark. Look at that, and that one's uh, uh, that's a little over almost. One. Yeah, that's a little more than one thousand, but that's but still can, pretty darn good. Probably, this thing is great because you can also correct it. So look at that. I've uh, corrected it a little bit. Also, by tightening that little screw, you can kind of. I'll get it. That's close enough. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, what kind of bullets are you using? These are Hornady 178 grains that I found on uh, uh, Midway, USA. They they happen to have these in stock again, so I thought I'd give it a try. I normally like the SMKs, but uh, kind of they're limited to only shoot what's available. So this is what's available right now. Well, Mark, you're the closest thing to bench rest shooters that we have here among our community. And bench rest shooters, of course, are they're crazy about accuracy and and they go really off the deep end with all that stuff. But you can see it can barely even fit in my my 308 uh, AR-10 magazine. Uh huh. And uh, that's how much. Uh, I mean, with the semi-automatic, it you know, I'll never even get that close to the lands like a bolt gun. Would, but you, you get any gems at all because because of that? I haven't had one yet, but you know we'll see with this one. This is a new one for me. So now, now what powder are you using? Uh, Varget. Ah. The good stuff. Yeah, I've also been experimenting with 8208, which I find better. But uh, I want to run up, use up all my Varget before I, I uh, switch over completely. You're not going to shoot all these today, are you? Uh, maybe. I usually go through about 100 a weekend. Wow. So. <laughs> and you're shooting your AR platform, right? Yep. Now, this is a, here's one that I didn't do any uh, corrections for. So you can see how far my SMKs are off. You can see, like, there we go. That's a lot. Oh yeah, that's about four thousandths. Yeah, and that's what I was doing with my, um, that's just straight out of my, my die. So when I was seeding it, that's with the uh, Hornady competition die. Let's see here. Look at that. Look how far that is. Oh yeah. I just kind of let it stay in its lowest state and just kind of knock it straight a bit and see. Look at that. Automatically I've made that much of an improvement. That's good. Just from a qu quick yank. Yeah. But uh, what I'll do is uh, maybe do another twist. So the Hornady... Concentricity gauge actually allows you to make little corrections with that little screw there. Yeah, look at that. Now I have virtually no movement at all. Wow. You know what? That That's a nice gauge, and uh, con it's a concentricity correction gauge. And that's a pretty good piece of equipment there you got. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. And uh, I'll, I'll come by later on and see what kind of uh, groups you're getting. Okay. So here's Mark's rig, his 308 and AR platform. And we'll let uh, Mark tell you all about the groups he's getting now with the concentricity that he's using. So this is, um, let me pull it. This is one of my first warm-up shots of the day. You can see I definitely veered off to the side in one of them. But for a five-shot group, I can't complain. Is that a dime? No, that's a quarter. Over that's there. a quarter, okay. Yeah, it's not as tight as I'd like it to be, but I was also shooting without a, uh, without a sandbag. So just That's still pretty pod. tight. And then here's another group today. That's another five shot as well. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm happy. Well, you should be. That looks pretty good. Although I keep uh, flinching off the side. I, I, I almost make the three leaf clover and then I flinch a little bit. <laughs> um, the other group earlier could have, could have been a, a three leaf clover and then I somehow going for a shot four and five, it definitely opened it up quite a bit. But if that was a three leaf group, that would have been impressive when it was just that. Uh, now, what, what do you got here? This looks interesting. Now, these are things I've... Did, I didn't do this today. These were done over the course of uh, uh, last year, 2012. So here's a one-shot group. And then I, I did this at the range, and uh, some guys were like, ah, oh, you were lucky. And I was like, oh, there's only one shot down on the paper. And he goes like, still, let's see if you can do it again. So that's a two-shot. 
group. <laughs> this is a three shot. Oh yeah. And then just this is a dime. Oh nice. Well, Mark, thanks for sharing on your uh, your new acquisition of that concentricity and accuracy you're getting out of your rig here. It's really nice. Oh, thank you.